What's going on, everybody? It's Larry of Packmaster's Dog Training. Good morning to you. Happy Friday, everyone. Well, today is Emmy's last day here. My beautiful Great Dane pup that I've had for a few weeks now. And I got to tell you, I'm bummed. I'm really bummed. I love this dog. I'm so attached to her. Um, just crazy about her. In fact, I, the owners are coming from far away, and I called them a couple of days ago, and I said, hey, just leave her a few more weeks. No charge. You know, I'll take care of her. But they already had their arrangements with the flight and everything and uh just love her i mean really big impact she's had on me i'm very lucky to have had her here but something interesting happened over over the past few weeks that i want to talk to all my open-minded trainers and dog owners about very very important okay this really blew me away um i've covered emmy's progress and her training a lot more than i do with with most dogs okay um i've shown the work I started from the second I met her at the airport. I mean, I really have a lot of coverage of this dog. I did that for a couple of reasons. For one, there's so many dogs out there that suffer with fear issues, okay? And, and that is my favorite kind of dog to, to work with. I just find it the most rewarding, you know? And she struggled with, with everything. You guys saw when she got here. For another, I work with a lot of Great Danes and I, I'm going to say probably 80% of the Great Danes that I've worked with over the years have had the same issues, you know, and I don't know if it's bad breeding. I don't know if people just aren't exposing them to, I don't know what it is, but I, about 80% of them have all been the same way, you know, really messed up in the head and that's not good. And so what I did was when I first got her, I went onto Facebook and I joined two groups, two breed specific groups, which I normally don't do. Um, the Great Dane Lovers was one of them, and Great Dane Fanatics was the other. The reason being, everyone on there has Great Danes, loves Great Danes. I thought it would be very helpful for them to see the Emmys before and after and during. Most important part, during. See the work, okay? So when I first started posting things on there, on the, I think the Great Dane Lovers site was, was fine. I think everyone was real responsive to it, if I remember correctly. On the Great Dane Fanatic side, most people had really good things to say. But, of course, there's a couple that started right from the start, and I knew where it was going. You know, just nothing but bad shit to say. You know, one Chris Farley-looking woman jumped on me right away, running her mouth. You know, how horrible the dog looked. She's scared. She's being abused. And I know where this was going, you know. You know, then another one, it might have been the same woman, you know, she's not going to take advice from some federal agent. She'll listen to a behaviorist first, I, like all kinds of dumb shit. So what I did was I just kept posting the progress and then they shut up because they can't argue it, right? So the last video I posted, I posted on there also. And then I get an email, a private message on Facebook from the administrator, the administrator of Great Dane Fanatics. And she tells me I cannot be posting links to other sites. I said, what are you talking about? That's not another site. That's my Facebook page. I'm putting it right to your, your group here. She said, your Facebook page is another link. And what kind of dog trainer are you? Question mark. So right there, I know where this is going. I said to her, I said, what do you mean what kind of dog trainer am I? I'm a dog trainer. I train dogs. That's that's what I do. You know, you've seen what I've done. I know where this was going, guys. All right. This group is made up of not all. There's a lot of good people in that group. A lot of good people. What they did was they friend requested me and now they deal with me one on one instead of through the group. But this is one of those cult like crazy fanatical people, administrator that doesn't care about the animal. They don't care about the dog. All they care about is their ideology. So you folks that saw Emmy come from day one, you saw all the work in between, you see where she's at now. I couldn't be happier. I'm so happy for this dog. I'm completely, completely in love with her. And it's, I'm probably going to shed a man tear when she leaves today, okay? I'm not gonna show you that part, I will, because I absolutely love her. When I see her every day, you know, the first day she, she was introduced to my dogs, the tail was tucked, she was panting, she was scared to death, you know. Now she's out there instigating play and having a good time and chasing them and fighting with them. I mean, it, it's a beautiful thing to watch. But 
I got kicked out of that group, Great Dane Fanatics. What I told her was, I said, you know what? I said, uh, I'll spread the word of what you're saying and I'll remove myself from, from the group. But what I didn't know, she had already removed me. So she don't care about results. And Lord knows, everybody knows, I have a ton of compassion for the animal, you know, a lot. I'm pretty outspoken against, you know, open-minded trainers that are not, always have been. So no one cares more about the animal and the well-being than I do. It's impossible, you know? And so they took me off the group. Just think about that. I want you guys to really think about that. Let that settle in to all my open-minded trainers. No matter if, if you hate each other, we get along, you disagree with everyone's methods, the one thing we have in common is we all want the right to train how we want to train and use the tools that we want to use. We want to have that freedom, right? But just understand that there are people like this, these fanatics, these cult-like freaking lunatics that are working 24 hours a day to take away your freedom to use the tools and the methods that you like. All right? The open-minded trainers we have to be more offensive because the only time a lot of our side steps up is when we're already backed up against the wall. So just remember, 24 hours a day, these people are trying to take your rights away, these friggin' lunatics, all right? So think about that. We have to start showing more good. You have to start showing more work. Before and afters, without any of the work, hurt us. They're useless. Okay, talking about how bad the dog was before, but you never see it, but you only see the F, it hurts us. It makes people very skeptical. You look like a bullshitter. So just remember, these folks are trying to take away all your rights to train the way you want, plain and simple. And for my folks and my administrator over at Great Dane Fanatics, do me a favor, pull your heads out of your ass and smell it. Peace.